Hi everyone, welcome back to the Learn to Swim tip of the week. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the breaststroke kick. This is very similar to what we did two weeks ago with the elementary backstroke kick, except that we're going to be on our front. So this is an American Red Cross level three skill. So if you go to our camp and you're trying to go on that slide this summer, I would definitely practice along with me. This is also really good for our swim team kids. We know a lot of people have problems with adding in a flutter kick or a scissor kick. So these are some drills you could practice at home while you don't have a pool. Um, the hardest part about the, uh, the breaststroke kick is that you're so used to having your toes pointed all the time for the flutter that you now have to train your feet to go out. So these are some drills that you can practice at home to get your feet used to it. It's actually easier to practice and get used to it outside of the pool. And then once we reopen, you can learn the skill real quick in the pool. So the first one I have are just foot circles. So you're just getting used to your feet going out. This is something you can do while you're lounging around, while you're binging Netflix, whatever you wanna do. You could do 500 a day, you could do five a day. Super easy getting used to the feeling. So that's the first one. The second one is, I know, our Swim Team Kids favorite. It's the duck walk. So you could do this around your house. You can go for a walk around the block. Um, if you wanna make your neighbors laugh, you could do half of the block in your streamline and you could do half the block with your duck walk. So all you're doing is walking with your feet out like this and you're waddling like a duck. So that's the second one. The third one is the wall. So besides the problem of not getting your feet out, the other problem is getting bringing your knees in instead of back, which means that your feet are under you. So you're not getting the push forward that you get from if your legs are back. So you wanna make sure you're going out and then you're pointing your feet and going around. If you hit the wall in front of you, that means you're bringing your knees in too much. So it always goes back around together. That's three, that's a big one to practice. You definitely don't wanna bring them in and you wanna practice getting that foot out because wherever your toe is pointed, that's the right direction your leg is going to go in. And then the fourth one, you're sitting anywhere on a couch, on a chair, and you're practicing just the motion of it. You're gonna recognize this. We did the same drill when we were learning elementary backstroke. You bring your legs back, make a V around together. Back, make a V around together. It's just all of these are really just to get used to and train our feet that it's okay to, to go out. You need to get used to the feeling. Once you've done these drills and you're super comfortable and we're still not open, but you wanna practice, we wanna practice getting our kick. So you're gonna land anything, a couch, as long as your legs are hanging off of it and you're gonna practice the kick. So back, around, together. You wanna to make sure you're either getting it on video, someone's watching, you have a mirror. You wanna make sure your feet are pointing out and then your legs are going in that direction. So I definitely want everybody practicing that at home. If you haven't checked out the blowing bubbles yet or streamline or elementary backstroke, definitely check those out. And if you have any ideas for us, I would love to teach you guys whatever you want. So please reach out and I'll see you guys back here next week.